I am so excited and so honored to bring out the folks that made this seminal horror film what it was and created the legacy that it is today. Let's kick things off. Um, you know him for his films Paper House, uh, obviously Candyman, uh, the historical romances Immortal Beloved and Anna Karina, um, the independent dramas like Ivan's XTC. His most recent works include Frankenstein and Samurai Marathon. He is the writer-director of Candyman. Please give it up for Bernard Rose, everybody. Hello there. Hey, Bernard. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we talked to you a little bit earlier this week. We're so excited to have you back for the full panel uh such an honor and thank you so much for putting those storyboards up they are works of art they are a masterpiece and so we appreciate you giving the fans an opportunity to purchase those well thank you for having me yeah of course um let's get the cast out here um he has had appearances on tv shows like boy meets world baywatch and living color boston public he's been in films like little giants and baby boy he made his film debut uh, he's not going to look like what he looked like in the movie, everybody. <laughs> uh, he made his film debut as young Jake in Candyman. Please give it up for Dewan Guy. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Dewan, so good to have you here. Thank you so much for connecting with us and coming out here today. Uh, we couldn't have a Candyman paddle without um, you. So thank you uh, for, without Jake, right? So uh, thanks for being here today. <laughs> It's it's a pleasure to be here. I'm good. It feels good to be here. So yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, let's keep the party rolling. Uh, you know him from such classic films as The Rock, The Crow, Platoon. We're barely going to scratch the surface here for this next gentleman. But in the nerdverse, where I know all of our wizard fans uh, like to center around, he has been in three incarnations of Star Trek. He has guest starred on Xena, Warrior Princess. He was the voice of Zoom in The Flash. In the horror world, he is no stranger as well. He was in The Night of Living Dead, the Final Destination series, the Hatchet film series, um, and he is the Candyman himself. Please welcome to the virtual stage, Tony Todd. <laughs> Hello, Tony. Oh, Tony, you're you're uh, muted. Let's uh, get you unmuted there. There you go. Go for it. Are we good? There we go, Tony. Yeah. Tony what's up? up? What's up, <laughs> Bernard? How you doing, Duan? Good Rick, night, Tony. Mike, thanks for moderating, man. Of course, of yes. course. It's a pleasure to moderate, uh, not only as a host, but also as a giant fan of the series. So uh, uh, ha ha happy to be here. Happy to be here. Love um, that reverse T-shirt. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I was gonna. I'm gonna get to that a little bit later. But this is the mirror. All right. Image. Sorry, I didn't mean to ruin it. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. Uh, it is the mirror image. And Bernard uh, Bernard has a an amazing story. If you didn't catch it on social media, we're gonna talk a little bit about the how the the Candyman five times came about. Uh, but we'll save that for a little bit later, Bernard. <laughs> um, let's keep this going. Um, she has been in multiple films that have won numerous awards, uh, including Fairy Home Companion. She was nominated for an Academy Award uh, for her performance in Side. Sideways. Uh, we know her from her teen hits like Electric Dreams, sci-fi cult films like Dune and Highlander 2, uh, horror films like The Prophecy uh, and The Haunting in Connecticut. Um, we know her from Frasier and, and numerous TV series. She was recently on uh, the very highly underrated uh, but amazing uh, if you're a fan DC's Swamp Thing. Um, please welcome Helen Lyle, Virginia Madsen, everybody. Hi. Hello, Virginia. Oh my God, <laughs> Bernard! I haven't seen you in uh, like twenty years or something. And no, I think and you won, and haven't seen hey, you. Hey, Virginia! I saw you not that long ago. Not long, but it was uh, was uh, too long ago. So yeah, good to see yeah. You. lay eyes on you. <laughs> it's good to see you guys. It's really good to see you. It's so amazing. And uh, let's bring out our final actor on the panel today. You know him from his television roles on 24, The Mentalist, Nikita, The Walking Dead. Uh, his films include Term his films include Terminator 2, Heat, Air Force One, Gattaca, again, just barely scratching the surface. Uh, but he played Professor Trevor Lyle in the original Candyman. Please get up for Xander Berkeley. Ah! Hey. Oh. There he is. It was that. It was like magic. magic. So great to see all you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so awesome. And Xander, you very eloquently uh, wrote on Instagram that today's panel is all about sweets to our sweets on the day before Valentine. And I thought that was uh, very. Oh my God, that's really good, Xander. Yeah, it's so beautiful. <laughs> my little Valentine's card to my daughter that I was in the middle of making up on there. Oh. Um, you know, I'm a, a big softie at the end of the day, regardless of all those 
sleazy yeah. bad guys that played. <laughs> Uh, I want to kick things off. Uh, the film has a, a legacy un, unknown to it. I mean, it's everyone loves it. It's it's insane. And it has c- continued not only through its sequels, uh, but now through, you know, was potentially a, a new film coming out uh, this year in 2021. Uh, it's it's a seminal film. Tony, um, the character of Candyman, you made iconic and lives in the, you know, the annals of the horror movie genre as one of the greatest characters of all time. Uh, I, I want to just go around the room. Ber- Bernard, we'll start with you since you created it based on a story by a uh, horror legend, Clive Barker. Talk a little bit about just the legacy of Candyman uh, and what it, what it, just the fact that it's still so popular today. Well, you know, that's nice, frankly. That it's popular still. I mean, you know, because let's face it, most films are forgotten. I mean, they really are. You know, you can make a film, it can even be a huge success. And then, you know, people kind of, people, it, some films just vanish. They just disappear and some don't. And this one didn't. So that's lucky, you know. Mm. Um, but it didn't happen. It certainly didn't, you know, it didn't happen that it came out and was a huge hit. I and mean, it was a moderate. It did okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> But it wasn't like um, it didn't take a hundred million dollars at the box office or anything, you know. It it um, so it, it I think it took it took time, but I think as as uh, Jean Cocteau said, the most beautiful flowers are those which open slowly. Oh, so there you go. Um, and you know, every time they make a sequel, they have to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. That's all that matters. But... No. <laughs> there you go. There well, you, go. you deserve that because you <laughs> created a whole universe here, and and it was really a, a, a it was really an incredible experience, and you deserve every penny and more. And Thank you. Uh, yeah. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. No. Well, it, it was actually a very one of those amusing things. They they weren't going to pay me, but I knew about it because for various sources, including Mr. Todd. Um, and um, I was just keeping my mouth shut and keeping my mouth shut until they were about three weeks away from pre-production. And I made made my little call to some of the folks at MGM. And said, <laughs> that film you're about to start, you don't own it. You know. Very <laughs> 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 you, brother. Very happy for you, Bernard. Very, very, very happy for you. Uh, Virginia, you, you started to speak there. You know, the, the film is called Candyman, um, and that's the iconic character, but it's really a film about Helen Lyle, you know what I mean, and her journey, um, you know, as the investigator and the, the professor. Uh, and again, your that shot of your beautiful face uh, with zoomed in on your eyes, you know what I mean, is an iconic shot from horror films that we still recognize today. You, you, you don't even know Candyman's in the background there. You just see that zoom in on your eyes and we know it's Candyman. Again, what's it like to be part of the legacy of the of this series? Well, this is the the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, I'm so proud of everyone's work in this movie and um on this movie. And um and of course that was the only that close up you're talking about uh that's the only time that Bernard would let me wear makeup. <laughs> <laughs> because he you know wanted my eyes to look different than uh when I was not hypnotized. And and uh but because of our DP, of course, they made me look like really incredibly beautiful and and it was at, at, at an age for a young girl where you don't always feel that way. And so thank you, uh, Bernard, because I did feel very beautiful. <laughs> well, I think it's an interesting thing about the way that that close up is lit, which is one of the things, you know, Tony Richmond, who was the DP, Tony was had yeah. been for many years uh, the assistant to Nick Rogue. Um, and he was the assistant to Nick Rogue when Nick was hired to shoot uh, Dr. Zhivago. Yeah. And um, so and Nick was then later fired off Dr. Zhivago because he fell out with David Lean. But Tony actually stayed on as the assistant when Freddie Young took over the picture. But I remember actually specifically the close-up that you're talking about, I said to Tony, I said, I want this lit like, uh, you know, the close-up of, 
of um, Julie Christie in, in Chivago. He goes, oh, I know the one. He goes, it's the one with the snoot and the little, uh, that's the one. You know so, that. That was, the same. that was literally it. And it's the same, <laughs> the exact lighting situation because he stayed on the picture after Nick left. So he, he was there when they shot that stuff. You know the one where she's doing the ironing and she's looking at Yuri. Yeah. You suddenly realize she's in love. Very, very good shot, but it's it was so it was actually David Lean who came up with it. Oh, oh, you know, you came up with that. Yeah, it was all anyway. All I, I, I never knew that story. That's really, Absolutely really cool. true. Yeah. <laughs> now I can tell everyone. Well, you know, it was because of Doctor Zhivago. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you're enjoying this Wizard World panel preview. To watch the remainder of the panel, please click the full panel link in the description below or visit wizardworld.com for more information. This is John Glover, and you are watching Fandom Spotlight. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Lionel Luther recommends it. Ah, have some fun. Follow your fandom.